Where's the minimum wage stand today? Uh, at today, the federal minimum wage is seven dollars and a quarter. There is legislation in both the House and the Senate that would raise it to ten dollars and ten cents. Um, has a lot of co-sponsors and a lot of support, and we're anticipating a, a big fight and a big campaign around raising it. In 2008, we saw it at six dollars fifty-five cents. Back in 2007, five dollars and eighty-five cents. Going back to the late 90s, five dollars and fifteen cents. Right. We we increased the minimum wage in 1996 when Bill Clinton was president, and it had been four and a quarter until 1996. It went up to five fifteen, and then it was frozen at five fifteen until 2007, when it an increase was passed, and it eventually became seven. 25. And unfortunately, this has been the history of the minimum wage over the last 30 some years. Uh, in 1968, the minimum wage was enough to lift a family of three from poverty with just one full time worker. Today, that same family is 30 percent below the poverty line because the value of the minimum wage has just declined so much because Congress has failed to consistently. Uh, increase it. It hasn't kept up with inflation. It hasn't kept up with wage growth. And workers who earn the minimum wage or who earn just above the minimum wage have been falling farther and farther behind as a result. If we had like a steady like incline to get to that like twelve dollars, I think that would be fine. But for now, this fifteen dollars is like way too much for us. Um, it would make our student tuition skyrocket in the like future local like businesses and our student um, resources, they'd also skyrocket as well. Students come to us with challenges. They, a lot of them have families of their own or are the breadwinners for their families. So they do have minimum jobs uh, aligned to the skill set that they have. An increase in the minimum wage would help them uh, really put more emphasis and focus on their education because of time. Uh, the more money that they can make per hour, the less time that they would have to spend uh, working, which directly impacts the amount of time that they can spend on their education. So uh, on an, as an educational perspective for Goal Academy and the students that we serve, um, we all feel that it would have a, a positive impact to raise the minimum wage, thus allowing our students to spend a little bit more time to focus on uh, their education. So what can be done to increase the minimum wage? Increasing the minimum wage will lead to less poverty rates and a higher chance of success in the workforce. As shown here in a city like Washington, D.C., minimum wage is very common because people are not receiving the right amount of money that they're supposed to from their employers that is stated by the law. So, do you agree with the minimum wage or should it be raised? I think one of the problems is that um, because poor people don't vote, Peter, at the level of the elite in this society, because poor people don't give big campaign contributions, uh, because both parties, quite frankly, are bought and bossed by big money, by big banks, by big business, poor people get rendered more and more invisible, pushed more and more to the margins. Uh, and so that uh, really talking about the issue of poverty or the poor is sort of impolitic. Uh, at the Democratic Convention, um, the New York Times tells us that the word poor or poverty was used three times for every 25,000 words. And Bill Clinton was responsible for 11 of those references in his 45-minute speech, I guess. Uh, he had more time, so I guess he had more time to mention it. Um, at the Republican Convention, this will strike some as interesting. The word poor or poverty was used five out of 25,000 times. So interestingly, the Republicans actually mentioned poor or poverty more than the Democrats mentioned it at the conventions recently. Now that's unacceptable, uh, particularly for those of us who believe that the Democratic Party has done a better job on poverty. The point is that in this contemporary setting, um, that people don't want to take the issue on. In Washington right now, we ought to be talking about raising the minimum wage to a living wage. When President Obama ran, Peter, he ran on a platform saying he wanted to raise the minimum wage to nine fifty an hour. It hasn't happened. The Democrats have been weak on that issue, quite frankly, on lifting the minimum wage to a living wage. And we all know that uh, the economy's had a lot of tough times in the last several years, but things are getting better. The problem is they're only getting better for some. Uh, we know that corporate profits have continued to break records while Americans are working harder and getting paid less. We know that the stock markets are close to all-time highs and corporate profits are booming, 
the $200 billion a year fast food industry is doing extremely well in this country.